Uh, Governor Kemp is holding a press conference. Uh, he has just got to the podium. Let's listen in. I'm joined as usual by our Commissioner for the Department of Public Health, Dr. Kathleen Toomey, our GEMA Director, Homer Bryson, and General Tom Carden. Also, we have uh, Colonel v uh, Gary Val, Lieutenant Colonel Chris Wright, and Captain Nikki Renfro with the uh, State Patrol, Department of Safety. We got the Department of Corrections Commissioner Tim Ward and the Assistant Commissioner Ahmad Holt with us today. Also, Department of Juvenile Justice Commissioner Tyrone Oliver, Department of Natural Resources Commissioner Mark Williams, GBI Director Vic Reynolds, and Special Agent in Charge Debbie Gardner. Uh, before we get started on the weekly COVID-19 briefing, I wanted to take a few moments to address the protests that we've seen in communities across our nation. As I said over the weekend, this is a deeply emotional time, not only in Georgia, but across America. We are gripped by a global pandemic. COVID-19 has threatened the health and well-being of our families and communities. Here in Georgia, this health care crisis has, he has created economic hardship. Our unemployment numbers and uncertainty are sky high right now. And during this unprecedented moment, we have witnessed injustice with our own eyes. Georgians are filled with fear, anger, and righteous impatience. I realize that people are hurting and have more questions than answers right now. I support the right to peacefully protest, to honor the life of George Floyd, and to demand action. As the cradle of the civil rights movement, this place where peaceful protest ultimately shook up the status quo, the birthplace of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This is a city where his legacy looms, urging us all to seek justice, love mercy, and treat others fairly with kindness and respect. And what started as a peaceful protest Friday ended in violence and destruction. A powerful moment was ultimately corrupted by some with a different agenda. And from the start, we have worked with Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms' office and local law enforcement to provide assistance and support. At their request, I have deployed the Georgia National Guard and hundreds of law enforcement officials to key locations hey across the city. And over the past several days, we have provided reinforcements to Atlanta as well as communities across Georgia to enhance public safety and preserve peace. I cannot tell you how proud I am of the men and women who at a moment's notice were on the ground working to protect not only people but property. And let me be clear, I am outraged that Georgians are now in arms way because some are using this moment to riot, to loot, and to compromise the safety of our citizenry. I will tell you that violence and destruction is unacceptable. We will continue to do our part in conjunction with local leaders to plan, mobilize, and respond appropriately to threats that undermine our safety. We will do whatever is necessary to keep the peace. That being said, I still have hope that we can emerge from this stronger than ever before and more united than ever before. I truly believe that our best and brightest days are before us, and they are still to come. This is a moment to unite Georgians and find solutions to the problems that we face. We have overcome incredible challenges in this city and in this state together. I know that most are trying to protest in a productive way without compromising the safety of others. One story we were actually made aware of that happened yesterday, there was a group of peaceful protesters moving down Auburn Avenue as we neared the curfew. GPS troopers were on hand because that section of the street is close to the interstate. The troopers reported to the leader of that group to remind his fellow protesters of the curfew and asked them to leave once they got back to their cars 
after a successful, peaceful day.